hello beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're looking for ways to grow your hair much faster if you're suffering from any kind of hair problems you must give this recipe a try this recipe is super effective and i promise you after watching this you're gonna love it so don't forget to share the video with anyone who might benefit from this my first natural ingredient for this recipe is bay leaves Today, I'm going to use the dry bay leaves. Bay leaves are very great when it comes to hair growth. It contains nutrients that is going to stimulate new healthy hair growth. It is going to treat your scalp from dandruff and other scalp issues. Bay leaf can also condition your hair. If you use it as a hairspray, it is going to keep your hair conditioned and also strengthen your hair strength. So I started by blending some bay leaves. So as we have the bay leaves going, you know how we do it here. But if you are new here and you do not know how we do it here, we show a whole lot of love around this channel. So please show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell. So each time I upload DIYs for hair growth like these, you will always be notified. And do not forget to share this video with your friends, your families, as well as on your social media platforms. Thank you for doing all that. So this is my blended bay leaves. The measurement is about a tablespoon of blended bay leaves. I'm going to put that in a bowl. Then I'm going to move on to my next ingredient. So this is Vaseline. Vaseline is old school. If you haven't tried Vaseline, make sure you try it with this recipe and you're gonna love it in your hair. Vaseline can moisturize your hair and leave it moisturized for a long time. But when you pair Vaseline with shea butter, it takes it to a different level. If you haven't tried anything DIY for your hair growth, make sure you give this very one a try. Shea butter is an excellent moisturizer. If you are someone who suffers a lot with hair dryness, you should be using shea butter. And this is one way that you can use shea butter to benefit your hair. Shea butter is going to prevent your hair from hair damage and also going to strengthen your hair strength. So after having about a tablespoon of my shea butter with a tablespoon of my Vaseline, I'm going to add it to my bay leaves. Then I'm going to use the double boiler method or just a hot water to melt everything together. And there is one important trick I need to show you in this video. So make sure you are paying attention to every step of this recipe. Also, I'm going to show you the best way to use this recipe in order to get all the benefits out of it. There are also a few ingredients I'm going to add to this recipe to maximize its benefits. So make sure you're not skipping any part of this video. Once everything is all melted together, I left it in the water to warm it up even more. Once it is warm to touch, I'm going to strain this oil. Do not wait, otherwise it's going to settle. Once it's at a temperature that you think you are comfortable with, go ahead and strain it. You can use a paper towel, a cheesecloth, or any material with tiny holes. And after straining, this is exactly what you should be having. I'm also going to show you a few ingredients I'm going to add to this in order to make it even work much better. But if you're still watching this video to this point and you haven't shown your girl some love, what are you waiting for? Please show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell. So each time I upload DIYs for hair growth like these, you will always be notified. And don't forget to share this video on your social media platforms. So again, this is my extra virgin olive oil. I added about a tablespoon to this recipe, then give it a good stir. Olive oil will also strengthen your hair strands. You can use any oil of your choice. Avocado oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, just to mention a few will all work. This is my organic hibiscus powder. 
I'm adding about a tablespoon of the hibiscus powder to this recipe. Hibiscus is also great when it comes to hair growth. It is going to nourish your hair strands by strengthening your hair strands and also preventing hair breakages and hair loss. It can also increase blood flow to your scalp that is going to stimulate new healthy hair growth. So with this recipe, the two natural ingredients that we use, which are the bay leaves and the hibiscus, are both powerful when it comes to hair growth and that is what makes this recipe a very effective one when it comes to hair growth and preventing hair loss. Also, I'm going to add some essential oil to this recipe. You can add any essential oil. Today, I feel like having that orange smell with this recipe. Adding essential oils will add to the fragrance of any DIY recipe as well as adding to the benefits of it. They are all great for treating your scalp and also strengthening your hair strength. So feel free to use any essential oil of your choice. After adding this essential oil, my recipe smelled amazing. Just look at how beautiful this one turned out. Oh my goodness, I just love it. I'm going to show you the best way to use it, so make sure you're watching the next step. But before using it, you have to put it in the refrigerator to make sure it all settles down and form back to the solid form. When you use Vaseline in a recipe like this, it is going to lighten it up. You know how thick Vaseline can be. But if you go through this recipe, you're going to see that the Vaseline is going to apply smoothly onto your hair. And this will moisturize your hair and leave it moisturized for a very, very long time. So you will use this as you would use any hair moisturizer. On your wash days, after you have gone through all the processes, you're going to apply this as a hair moisturizer and put your hair in a protective hairstyle. On your regular days, you can also go ahead and apply any DIY hair growth spray to your hair. Then after that, to seal in the moisture, you're going to apply this recipe and massage it into your hair. If your hair stops breaking, your hair is going to grow longer and thicker. That is the only way you're going to return some length and this recipe is going to help you do exactly that. Just be consistent with the use for faster results. 